Hey there, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to back up all your precious media files and sessions in Adobe Audition to the cloud so you don't have to worry. So here we are in Adobe Audition, the multi-track here. Uh, say I was to drag in some audio there, a bit of talking and a voiceover as well, make some edits, there we go. And here is my very simple and very quick uh, finished production. There we go, say, say that's it, say that is my production. I've used three different media files, all in different locations on my hard disk, and I'm worried, I've been working for two hours, that I may lose this session. So the first thing you can do is go into your Adobe Audition preferences, slightly different on a Windows PC, get into preferences, and this is where you'll want to head in and make sure everything is getting nicely backed up, okay? In order to do this, you need to go through all of these different options until you find eventually, aha, auto save. Yes, very important. Auto save recovery data is set for every 10 minutes. Now I'm tempted, especially with a, a fast computer to take that down to maybe three minutes or possibly even one minute. One minute's probably overkill, but 10 minutes is uh, the, the default there. You can also back up your multi-track session files automatically every three minutes. So again, that's a very good interval uh, and it will make a maximum backup of 10 files every three minutes. So every half hour, it'll start overwriting itself. And the default there is creative cloud files, but you could set it to the session folder on your local hard disk. You can even browse and uh, say you're using something like Dropbox, put it there instead. But as I'm a creative cloud member and I have storage there, I choose to use that. And I know that even if my computer were to completely die, I would still have my audio in the creative cloud, which is great. Now what to do about those media files being all over my hard disk. Say I want to grab this session and send it off to another producer, but I don't want to have to find all the audio files and, and put them into the same folder and worry about that. Well, the first time you save when you uh, install Adobe Audition CC for the first time, so save that session as brand new, and I'm saving it on my desktop there, it will give you a warning dialog saying, uh, the file already exists, do you want to overwrite? Yes, but then this next warning will say one or more media files used by the multi-track session are located outside of the session folder, would you like to copy them into the session folder? Now I would say don't show this alert again because I'll always want to do that. Make sure you click yes, head over to the desktop and here you'll see in the brand new folder where my brand new session is, all the imported files are there to send off ready for the next producer. Back in Adobe Audition now, say you forgot to click yes and you click no to that, no worries, you can go back to your preferences in Adobe Audition and just click in the general box here, reset all warning dialogues, click yes, and the next time you choose to save, you will be given the option to do it again right there on the screen.